Live now to SeaTac Airport, where today we'll learn more about a new program that will allow you to meet your friends or loved ones at their gate instead of at baggage claim. Cairo 7's Rob Munoz is live at the airport. Rob, the Port of Seattle tried this out last year. Must have gone pretty well. Yeah, Tracy, you know, it obviously went really well if they're bringing it back then this year. You know, the last year was a pilot. They're going to bring it back again. Now, what this will allow you to do is you will be able to go past security here if you do not have a ticket and join your loved ones at the gate, much similar to how you used to maybe decades ago. Now, the Port of Seattle calls it the Visitor Pass Program, and they're officially announcing its return later this morning. The last time SeaTac Airport had this, you had to apply online and enter your information and wait about 24 hours for confirmation after a security check. Also, only about 100 passes were allowed every single day. When they did this pilot, it was the first time in 17 years since 9-11 brought security changes that guests were able to be with their loved ones at the gate. Now, SeaTac Airport was the first one on the West Coast to be able to do this. We'll find out much more about this return of the program about 10 o'clock this morning when we're having a press conference to let us know more about those details. And we, of course, want you know what happens with that, too. Tracy? All right. Thank you, Rob. Once we get all of the rules today from the Port of Seattle, we'll be sure to post them on our website, Cairo7.com.